live at 4.30. Two leaders of a notorious Mexican drug cartel are now behind bars in the U.S. The drug kingpin known as El Mayo and one of El Chapo's sons are both accused of sending deadly fentanyl into the U.S. Welcome back and thanks for joining us for Action News Live at 4.30. I'm Dale Uron. And I'm Graciela Moreno. We've learned that El Chapo's son, Joaquin Guzman Lopez, helped U.S. investigators in the capture of El Mayo. ABC's Morgan Norwood explains how the operation unfolded and the result of El Mayo's first court appearance. Dale Graciela, the Sinaloa cartel, one of the most violent drug operations responsible for shipping thousands of pounds of cocaine, meth, fentanyl into the U.S. Authorities celebrating the arrest of their two most powerful leaders. Two of the most powerful kingpins in Mexico's infamous Sinaloa drug cartel in U.S. custody today, tricked into boarding a plane that ended up bringing them to El Paso, Texas, and into the hands of the feds. Authorities say the drug bosses are behind massive operations, pumping fentanyl into the U.S. Ismael Zambada Garcia, known in the drug world as El Mayo, one of the most wanted men on the planet, now in U.S. custody, along with Joaquin Guzman Lopez, the son of the notorious El Chapo, who co-founded the cartel with his dad and evaded arrest for decades, despite the $15 million bounty. He is facing charges for fentanyl trafficking, money laundering, firearms offenses, kidnapping, and conspiracy to commit murder. Like a scene out of a movie, the two suspects lured into a highly coordinated sting. Federal officials say El Mayo thought he was headed to inspect one of his own Mexican airfields. They ended up landing in Texas, and they were greeted by the FBI and agents from the Department of Homeland Security, Homeland Security Investigations. It was an extraordinary turn uh, to be able to get these men to basically fly into the United States and uh, be arrested by uh, U.S. agents. El Mayo going before Judge Friday, pleading not guilty to a number of charges and a lengthy indictment out of West Texas. President Biden praising the arrest, saying too many of our citizens have lost their lives due to the scourge of fentanyl. Too many families have been broken and are suffering because of this destructive drug. Fentanyl is the deadliest drug threat our country has ever faced. The Justice Department will not rest until every single cartel leader, member and associate responsible for poisoning our communities is held accountable. And Garland says both men will appear in federal court within the coming days. Meanwhile, sources within the Sinaloa cartel say El Chapo's other sons will likely continue to run that massive drug operation alongside El Mayo's son. In New York, Morgan Norwood, ABC 30 Action News. Hey, Central California, stay up to date with all the most important news and weather. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to ABC 30 Action News.